The voting is happening in New Hampshire. Uh, it's, well, you know, it's going to be real interesting to see what happens on on both sides. Frankly, we are we're, we're you know we're moving forward into this into this. I think a new era. I, I you know I, I've been throughout my life. I've watched American politics get progressively more and more and more visibly corrupted. Now, in all probability, it was invisibly corrupted all my life. I mean, you know, in fact, all the way back to the beginning of the Republic. I was I, I was born in fifty one. I I, I uh, uh, when Harry Truman was president, Dwight Eisenhower won the next year. I grew up as a child with Dwight Eisenhower as my president. That's my earliest memory of presidential politics is uh, my dad and his I like Ike buttons and stuff like that. Um, I, I remember well the Nixon-Kennedy debates and the Kennedy presidency and the Kennedy challenges. And I remember, you know, just, just the whole thing. And, and, and when Nixon went down in flames in 73, I think that was the moment when and he went down in flames for being corrupt. That was the moment when America said, okay, enough already with this corruption. We're sick and tired of it. We don't want politicians, as, as Richard Nixon had done, who took, he, he took a $500,000 cash bribe from the Milk Producers Association. He took a million-dollar cash bribe from Jimmy Hoffa to get him out of jail. I mean, we don't want our, and, and that's not, I mean, that doesn't even begin to mention, like, you know, going to China on behalf of Pepsi and stuff like that. You know, the, the stuff that was arguably legal, but questionable. And Frank Church held his hearings, the, the church hearings. They, the Congress passed laws. We, we got a lot of this stuff under control. And then three years later, in 1976, you know, once Lewis Powell was on the Supreme Court, they, they started blowing this stuff up in 1966, uh, 76 with the Buckley versus Vallejo decision. The Supreme Court said, uh, no, giving money to politicians and spending money on political activity is protected by the First Amendment as free speech. It's not spending money. It's speaking under our construction, our understanding, our definition of what the Constitution says and means. Now, I disagree with that. <laughs> Lots of Bernie disagrees with that. Uh, but but I, th I really think that um, by Donald Trump in the last debate saying, look at these people booing me in the room. They're all donors. The Republican Party told me that there's donors in the room today. He said, they're booing because I don't want their money. Did you catch that in the Republican debate? I mean, that, that moment, that was, as, as Joe Biden would say, that was a BFD. Because that was somebody on the Republican side saying, there's too much money in politics. And politics is corrupt in the United States. And it's become an oligarchy. Oh, and by the way, please elect me. I'm an oligarch. You know, I mean, that's, that's the irony of, of Donald Trump being the person to deliver that message. But he's really, on the Republican side, the only one who can. And on the Democratic side, uh, you know, obviously you got Bernie Sanders saying, you know, we're going to do it the way it should be done, even if you say it's impossible. And I remember a year ago, you know, Bernie was on this show talking to you and me and, 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 and people were saying, Bernie, you got to run for president. And I'm sitting here thinking, you know, if he ran for president, it would be consequential. It would be important. It would change America. It would bring up really important issues because I know Bernie, I know his issues and I know how well they resonate with people. But I got to, I got to tell you, I thought there's no, there's no way you'll beat Hillary Clinton. She is the establishment. She's got too much money, too much power, too well connected. And, and instead what is happening is American voters, in particular people under 35 and people, people over 60, are saying to hell with the system, with this corrupt system, this broken system. And I'm guessing the people between 35 and 60 would say the same thing except they're too busy making a living, you know, try, trying to hold their head above water to, to, to be, frankly, being paying the kind of careful attention that... I mean, you got to do a little bit. You, you got to at least spend 45 minutes watching one of Bernie's speeches, you know, if you really want to know what he has to say. And you've really got to spend some time watching Hillary and the same thing with the Republicans. And the debates are not, frankly, all that helpful. To watch more clips from our programs, hit the Watch More Videos button over here. And please be sure to hit the handy dandy subscribe button so you'll always be up to date. Tag, you're it.